Nouvelle destination, a new destination, a new decor, and a new course. Sporting director David Castera tells us more about the 2009 Dakar and the way in which the race was designed. The characteristics of the terrain in the first week are representative of Patagonia, with some fast tracks, although quite technical, and with a lot of turns, which means a lot of work for the drivers. There won't be many off-piste sectors in the first few days. There'll be more of them as we reach the sand zones moving up the Andes Cordillera towards Mendoza. After that will be one of the attractions of this 2009 edition, as the peloton will climb up to over 3,000 meters, which is new to most people. The special stage will take place at low altitude in quite a sandy zone. And then we'll get to the Pacific Ocean and move up the coast alongside the Cordillera, going back and forth between the beaches and the mountains until we reach Copiapo, where the toughest stages will await with dunes and off-piste sectors. Those three or four days will be hard on the drivers, with a passage in the Cordillera, but it will be great. During the transit, the drivers will go up to 4,725 meters altitude and will be able to contemplate the amazing scenery. Muy spectacular, as the Spanish say. It's going to be marvelous all the way until the arrival in Fiambala, where a short but tricky special stage could see gaps at the top of the standings increase a fair bit. And then it's off to Cordoba, with 500 kilometers of special stages, until the penultimate day of the race, so there could be surprises. Et jusqu'à Cordoba, Cordoba aussi, c'est encore plus de 500 km de spécial, donc jusqu'à la veille de l'arrivée, il y aura des surprises. In some stages we try to diversify the itinerary, which means we try to make sure that a stage will not only take place on one type of terrain and in a similar landscape. Obviously sometimes it's possible, sometimes it isn't, but we try to vary the rhythm of the race. So if we have a technical sector early on in the stage, we try and speed up the track towards the end, and then we change it again. So it's important to have a change of pace within one stage to create diversity to make the race more interesting. Of course, this balance is sometimes possible, but sometimes it isn't because the terrain will make it impossible for us to set the pace. But in general, we've managed to keep this balance. Even though it's true, Patagonia tends to be a bit monotonous sometimes with its vast plains and repetitive scenery, but we found some areas which are different and which enabled us to maintain this balance.